We are all saying break a leg to News 4 anchor Lauren Lowry tonight. And here's the reason in just two hours she's going to be singing the national anthem live before the first pitch crosses the plate at the Sounds game. News 4's Terry Bulger says she's been warming up all day. Lauren faces a camera and audience every day of her life. She just can't see them from a television studio. Tonight, she'll see thousands of eyeballs from the ballpark. If I can just make it through the first half of the song, the rest of it's like, <sighs> because that's where all the words get funny <laughs> at the beginning. Lauren's fine and confident. This is not her first, oh, say, can you see? Don't become a YouTube video. Don't mess up. Don't be that person, because that's what's on the line every time. Live and pressure for the great singers on tape with plenty of takes for a newsroom of wannabes. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. O'er the land of the free. And the home of the brave. Actually not that bad. Just not ballpark quality like Lauren. And you've done this before. Hundreds of times. Lauren sings just a few minutes after our 6.30 newscast ends, but don't worry, we'll have cameras there and show you how she did tonight at 10. Knock it out of the park, Lauren. Terry Bulger, News 4.